Yo, what's up guys, Mitch Mokum here and welcome back to another episode of the Tour de France Pro Leader Series. Let's continue with the Tour de France. Hello cycling fans everywhere. This Pyrenean stage could prove to be a real opportunity for Barudeurs. With only one major mountain pass in the middle of the stage and a finish on flat terrain, climbers who are not in contention for the general classification will probably be let off the leash by the race favourites. An opportunity not to be missed. We all have our stamina back, so let's try and go in the breakaway with Guys, Mitch. today's stage could smile on the Baradeurs. You'd have to be a good climber to begin with a chance, but it would be surprising to see any of the favourites fighting it out for victory. Have a good race. Alright, yeah, I'm, I'm eyeing the intermediate sprint and maybe the HC climb, so let's see what we can make happen this stage. Intermediate sprint is coming up guys and we're looking at a group with 16 people So I'm not sure if I can make this happen with Mitch, but we're gonna try 16 people might be good to see us through to the end of the stage But also that we'll have to see Coming up on the 1k mark here Let's see if we can do anything here Yeah, we got it, baby. We're coming up on the final 2.3 kilometers of this HC climb. Let's see what we can make happen. Let's try and stick with this group here. I'll take my red gel because after this climb we will get a refill. We'll be sick if we can beat them in the sprint here. See if we can make anything happen here. I think I might have gone a little bit too early again. Yeah, I did. Oh, that sucks. Are we really gonna be second? Yeah, dang it. All right, we tried. We're on the final difficulty of this stage, the category one climb with Mitch. We're still looking pretty good in terms of our stamina. Let's see if we can make anything happen on the this one. The riders line. up front have a one minute lead on the favorites group. The yellow jersey group is one minute from the head of the race. Let's just follow Lechnison because he's our biggest threat, I think, on these hills. Yeah, that's not a lot, 30 seconds. The breakaway riders are five kilometers from the summit. If they hang on to their lead, they'll be able to fight it out for the eight second time bonus and the 10 polka dot jersey points reserved for the first one to the top. Let's make sure we follow them. We are caught by the peloton, no way. There's Yates, what's up dude? Let's have a look quickly at our teammates. Yeah, they all need red gel. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do this with Mitch though. Let's 
Two and a half kilometers still to go. Yates, you're going way too fast for me, man. Watch out. You'll soon have no more energy to attack. Yeah, all right. I think Mitch is done here. Yes, he is. We had no real ambitions for the classification of this stage. The least that can be said is you didn't prove me wrong. All right, that was a little bit of a disappointment. Let's see what the next stage has in store for us. Hi, guys. Let's start the briefing for this stage. It'll be a very demanding day for everyone. Several mountain passes and a summit finish await you. This is a key stage for the general classification. It's also important in the struggle for the mountain standings. We can hope to be on top at the end of the stage. We've got to pick up as many points as possible to overtake the leader of the classification. We don't have what it takes to play a prominent role. If we want to make a showing, we'll have to join the early breakaway. Good luck, guys! Hello and welcome to all. Asper and Tourmalet, two names well known to cycling enthusiasts. These climbs will do the whittling down before the finish on the Plateau de Combasque. That may be a long climb, but it's not as steep as the ones that come before. And so it could allow the Barudeurs to hang on until the line. Hopefully we can be the first one over the top at one of these climbs. Like the Category 1 or the HC. Probably not, but we're gonna try it though. It's a typical Pyrenean mountain stage with an Aspar and the Tomalet. Move guys. Even if you'll have to be a decent climber, the final ascent isn't just for featherweights. The percentage isn't very high. Have a good stage. Here we go, finally. Thank you. If one of the big favorites for the tour tries to escape, his direct rivals will get their teammates to ride. This is why the big players wait for the end before attacking. Okay, we're nearly at the front of the race, nice. We already have a minute and 20 on Peloton. Let's see how it goes. Intermediate sprint is coming up. Let's see what we can do in it with Mitch. The guys with you are upping the tempo. They're going to try to manage the time gap. Where is this dude located at? The best sprint. Keep your eyes open. Right, 1.8 kilometers. Gonna go at 100% here. See if we can do anything here. Just second. There we go. We're nearly at the top of this first climb. Keep an eye on him. Put so Vivo, where are you at? Ah, I'm just gonna keep going at 100%. They're already sprinting, bro. I don't have the stamina for that. Come on. Come on, don't blow up. Don't blow up, don't blow up. No, don't blow up. Come on. No. Ah, oh, second again. We had no real ambitions for the classification of this stage. The least that can be said is you didn't prove me wrong. Another fairly disappointing stage. Hi guys, let's start the briefing for this stage. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and it harbors no particular difficulties. A sprint finish is more than likely. We can't take the top spot for the green jersey at the end of this stage, but it will be important to pick up maximum points if we want to make up some of the lost ground. We don't have what it takes to be in the final sprint. If we want to make a showing, we'll have to be in the early breakaway. Have a good stage. Hello, cycling fans everywhere. It's the sprinters and their teammates who should be in the spotlight on this finish in Bordeaux, a town used to mass sprints. All right, let's see what we can do in these sprints. 
Intermediate sprinters coming up. Let's see what we can do with Arnaud Demar. We're only three kilometers out from it. Here's the winner of the intermediate sprint. They're not already sprinting right. Come on. These guys are crazy, man. I'll have to take my red gel again. They're always sprinting the just before the, the sprint. That's so the weird. Alright, let's see. No, I was stuck behind Phillips. Huh? Alright, second. That's good. All right, let's see what we can do, guys. We're in the final 10 kilometers. The breakaway is only 30 seconds in front of us. Hopefully we'll catch them. Probably. I don't really want to sacrifice my team to close the gap. We might have to though. There are two right hand bends in Bordeaux, but the roads are wide, so you shouldn't have any problems. 33 seconds, come on. Close the gap, guys. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. The fate of this stage is not yet seen. Alright, let's go. Manage to get time gap for the sprint. Escapees need not despair, even Tell if our team to do something. 30 seconds lead for the head of the race. Finally gaining some time. The men of the front will surely fight it out for stage victory. Who will be the quickest? Are we actually going to catch them or not? Okay, we will. That's Red good. Pennant for the breakaway. All right, let's go. Come on, Damar. Freaking Phillips, a dude. He always wins. <laughs> well done, lads. You rode a very good stage today. Finishing in the top five, even though the stage didn't suit us, is extremely satisfying. Yeah, that's okay. Let's have a look at the green jersey, though. 70, oh, pff, already 130 points behind Phillips, so that's insane. Right, next stage. Hi, guys. Let's start the briefing for this stage. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and it harbors no particular difficulties. A sprint finish is more than likely. We can't take the top spot for the green jersey at the end of this stage, but it will be important to pick up maximum points if we want to make up some of the lost ground. We don't have what it takes to be in the final sprint. If we want to make a showing, we'll have to be in the early breakaway. Have a good stage. Hello and welcome to all. It's the sprinters who are the bookies' favourites today. However, they'll have to watch out for a lumpy closing section and a finish that's on the rise. The most daring will no doubt try to put the well-oiled mechanisms of the sprint trains to the test. All right, let's try and see what we can do in the sprint with the mar. Change in topography. Intermediate sprint is coming up. Let's see what we can do with the mark. There's already six people in the breakaway, so we won't get a whole lot of points, but it's good practice for the sprint. Let's already move up a little bit and use our gel, probably. Alright, come on, the mark. Here's the winner of the intermediate sprint. Oh, it's so busy here, man. Wow, they're already sprinting. 
What? Ah, oh, they caught me off guard. Watch out. No You're points, I think. All right, let's see what we can do with the Mar here. First, a climb of the fourth category, and then a descent, and then it's just flat. So let's make sure we're in front of this peloton. Nearly at the top, so that's good. Take the rest of our red gel. During the sprint, try to stick to the wheel in front for as long as possible to take advantage of the slipstream. It's not really a super sprinting stage. Going up and down and up and down. Drop down towards the finishing line in Limoges. But a lot of the sprint has made it. You can see Phillips in there in the screen. Come on, another five kilometers before the line. There we go, four kilometers, make sure we don't get locked in the peloton. There goes a lotto train. Pennant is in sight for the There's men of the Phillipson front. Already. Let's not forget that the sprint will be contested on a gently rising road. Here comes Here we go. the red pennant. Come on, Damar. Did I start too soon again? Come on. He's in trouble. Yep. It's not sure that he'll be there for the sprint. Well done, lads. You rode a very good stage today. Finishing in the top five, even though the stage didn't suit us, is extremely satisfying. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, we are at stage eight out of 21, so we did four again. Uh, this is going to be it for today's episode. Leave a like on it if you have enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.